me start this off with a question. How many of us use technology on a daily basis? It doesn't really matter what kind, whether it be mobile phones, laptops, cars, television, anything for that matter. May I have a show of hands? Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what makes me. Good morning, assalamu alaikum. My name is Shivananda. Regardless of your age, technology is an idea which has impacted all of our lives. I mean, it's made us take the easy way and it taxes us to agree to be challenging. Take, for instance, if you don't know an answer, Google. If you can't solve a formula, calculate it. The idea behind technological revolution is truly inspirational because it has created such a massive change in our planet. Technology has undeniably improved everyone's lives and brought a massive change and plays a major role in today's society. Now I would like everyone here to just pause and think for a second. What would life be like if the advancement of ideas had come to a halt? Edison wouldn't have invented the light bulb. Newton wouldn't have discovered the concept of gravity. And the rest of us? Well, we'd probably be stuck back in stone. But my point is, the fact that the advancement of ideas is the reason we can live in a world of convenience. Yet people obviously look at the negative side of things, such as addiction, cyberbullying, scams, viruses, effects on mental and physical health. But you see, I, I can overlook that. I can acknowledge and appreciate how something we use on a daily basis took decades to create. How something we took for granted was what people dedicated their entire lives to create. On that note, let me introduce an ideology to you. Tech, no logic. Even though I've stated that technology had brought a massive change to the world, which it has, I'll be honest, I have firmly stuck by my opinion. But is it really required for it to do? I mean, obviously to the normal person, faster, thinner, cheaper, seems like the most ideal way to go, but in my opinion, it just isn't required. The same money that is funded to mobile phones, Cars, laptops, television, software, hardware could also be used to help and support larger causes. For example, once I was in Mumbai, a city in India. Now, I was living with my aunt at the time, and I was pretty <coughs> desperate for any source of entertainment that I could possibly get. And let's just say that I looked the streets of Mumbai, and what I saw there truly traumatized me. It was horrific. All I could see were children who were younger than me, in such poor clothing, and elders who were handicapped who were homeless. It was horrific to look at. And I'll be honest, this traumatized me for a long time, maybe because of the fact that I was 12 years old at the time. It was, it was horrific. And it's truly disheartening, as people are willing to spend more than $20,000 on just a car alone. It's just unreasonable. Mobile phone companies such as Apple spend up to $370 a phone, and with a daily production rate of 860,000 phones, it's just a lot of money being wasted because most of these are not purchased. Heck, most people can make you with a simple phone for several years. Yet everyone has this urge, this deep desire within them to get the most fancy and the latest pieces of equipment. And that very urge and mindset is what I and so many other people are victim of. Now with that, I would like to give you an example of tech with logic. Wi-Fi over the an idea thought of by Elon Musk. It's basically an idea through which the establishment of 4,000 satellites all over our world could create a worldwide massive network. And it's an incredible thought and gesture because it would cost over $1 billion. And could anyone even hate in its purpose? Is to provide Wi-Fi for places that don't have it, places that aren't as well built as the best, places which are rural, places with internal problems. It's, it, it gives a way for people all over the world to connect in my eyes, this is extremely important, and I can see this easily being one of the world's most positive acts. And finally, I'll, I'll have to be honest, I'm not a genius. I'm not an intellectual, and I'm most definitely no Elon Musk. But I believe that there are people all over the world with ideas just as incredible as Elon's. All they need is for a way to be heard. That's where my idea is. I call it voice. It would be a platform or an application if you may, through which people all over the world could come together alone or in groups to bring forth ideas which could very well be revolutionary. 
And my vision, voice, could literally and virtually bring improvements and changes in every industry on this planet. And you see, my reasoning behind voice, it's, it's simple. It's the fact that once upon a time, I thought of Wi-Fi over the world. And it seemed completely useless at the time. But I didn't realize that if I could voice out my opinions, people wouldn't have to struggle as much as they do now. People could have led easier lives. And the fact is that even though it was a stupid idea at the time, it was still an idea. And everything begins with an idea.